this happens to be the starboard side from Sammy B. So yes, that is an unexploded depth charge stuck in that rack. When you're in a submersible and you see something like this, you want to stay the hell away from it. What does the munition do at over three miles down? We don't know. I don't think anybody knows. Earlier this summer, June 2022, Caledon Oceanic announced it had found the shipwreck of the famed World War II destroyer escort USS Samuel B. Roberts, over four miles under the Pacific Ocean. To date, it is the deepest shipwreck ever to be explored. What was not known at that time, however, is that live ammunition remains sitting on the deck of the Sammy B. But if we're just meeting for the first time, my name is Ken Stano and I am a World War II historian, mechanical engineer, and host of the video podcast Museum Ship Mafia, where on a recent episode, we were shocked to learn that live high explosive ammunition in the form of anti-submarine depth charges and hedgehogs remains sitting on the deck of the Sammy B, just as lethal and ready to destroy the enemy as it was 80 years ago. We're going to bring on a guy by the name of Park Stevenson on with us. Parks, welcome. Park Stevenson, I'm just going to give you a little bit of background. He is a deep ocean explorer out of San Marcos, California. Parks is a graduate of the U.S. Naval Academy with over 20 years as a naval officer. And he's even joined expeditions down to the Titanic. He's co-authored a book with film producer and director James Cameron called Exploring the Deep the Titanic Expeditions. Parks, thanks for joining us tonight. Well, thanks for having me on. We've been talking about Taffy 3, the USS Samuel B. Roberts. You actually went as part of the expedition to find the Samuel B. Roberts. So you were there. Yes, we found the wreck of the Sammy B, deepest shipwreck in the world, on the western edge of the Philippine French. So, yes, I was there. And I'm going to make a confession here. The spot that I chose to dive, I thought we would find Gambier Bay. And instead, we found that the Sand Bee torpedo tube. That was found on the end of one dive that went to go look. And when the guys on that dive came back and showed me the picture of the triple torpedo tube, I went, Holy shit, we just found the Sammy B. Roberts. She was so small, we really did not think we had a conceivable chance of finding her. Sammy B. has not changed one iota since 1944. In that deep of an ocean, lack of oxygen, lack of sea life, organisms, just the overall environment, essentially preserves the ship. So we have a time capsule. Like Slater, Sandy B has hedgehogs up on her bow. They're painted black. Just to the right of the 40 millimeter tub, there's the hedgehogs because of the way that the main deck is buckled. The 40 millimeter tub is almost shoved right down into the hedgehog area. You can see the hedgehog lockers are crumpled by the main deck forced up against the superstructure. You know how volatile these things were on the surface. What does a hedgehog do at over 6,500 meters down? Victor, the pilot of the sub, didn't notice him at first. When I showed him the imagery afterward, he said, oh, these are the hedgehogs. You're pretty close to them. What you're seeing here, this happens to be the starboard side from Sammy B. These are the K-gun racks. So yes, that is a depth charge, an unexploded depth charge 
stuck in that rack. What does the munition do at 6,800 meters? Over three miles down. We don't know. I don't think anybody knows. So when you're in a submersible, and you see something like this, you want to stay the hell away from it. To learn more about the deep water discovery of the shipwreck of the celebrated World War II destroyer escort Samuel B. Roberts, check out this video. Finally, if you enjoyed this video, then why not lend your support by clicking like and also subscribing to this channel. My name is Ken Stano. Thank you for watching History X.